Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 11th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got up this morning, fairly decent time frame, um, got out, got the dogs taken care of, um, went ahead and got them, um, I guess, well, everything needed to be done, got them all fed and that kind of thing and that, kept them separated while I jumped in the hot tub for a couple minutes, um, wasn't in there very long, but it was nice to be in there for a few moments um got them figured out wife and i decided to um go run around today to the handful more of the art gallery show things whatever you want to call it uh, there was a group of artists in the area from mormon beach down here to edgewater so about an hour 45 minutes or so north to back down to here that had listed their galleries or well, their studios i guess more like it. it's more like their studios but they were selling some art and basically had a bunch of addresses and whoever set it up did a really good job of laying them out with the addresses where you can start at like either at the bottom and then work your way up or start at the one and work your way down depending on how you look at it to be able to roll through there and um kind of not really backtracking a lot so it worked out real well so we decided since we already did the edge water yesterday we can go all the way up to ormond and then work our way back home that way if something came up we had to be back to the house we're working our way closer to the house so later in the day it is because we're out at home so worked out real well uh, went ahead and jumped in the car headed up um, ended up hitting a few different spots went to Ormond hit every hit every spot in Ormond uh, and then came back down hit the spots in Port Orange there was one spot that was not open I guess they put a sign that said they taped thing across a little thing saying canceled and I'm not sure what happened there but it is what it is and there was another one that there's a second one that wasn't open also that does like jewelry work whatever and stuff they had something else come up they weren't there so but it is what it is so but yeah we're right now had a great time talked to some nice people um, a few of them were strange like the layout like how to get to like the little art gallery thing the little studio was kind of an odd deal they didn't have very good signs kind of post where it was like one of them there was like in a shed they bought and then stuff some insulation in the walls and made like a little painting gallery in there which was fine except to get to it the grass and stuff the yard was super uneven holes everywhere and like these really really bad uneven stepping stones and stuff to get back around the back because they yeah it was just they had a big roll-up door in the front that i guess is where they put all their christmas stuff and the walkthrough door in the back is where you go in and out to the gallery the studio and it was it was unsafe like it was really I was like, man, I'd hate to see how mad their insurance would be if they knew they had a shit ton of people walking through here as uneven as stuff it was. It really would have been way better off to have either moved their stuff into their main garage or even set up like a tent or something or put in their living room. They could walk straight up the sidewalk to it because it was not, not comfortable at all. But overall, it wasn't too bad. Um, did pretty good. The address and stuff to put into the GPS was able to get in and out of everything pretty smoothly. Um, just had a good time end up meeting a lot of just some strange people there's one lady who did uh, ceramic work that i liked her to work quite a bit and she was doing like slab um like rolling stuff out then pinching into pots and sculptures and stuff and like little vessels and whatnot but then she was gluing these stones all over the top and then she was very obsessed with trying to tell us what all these different stones what superpowers they carry and like the healing powers and all this kind of stuff and not really into that crap and there were a couple little pieces there that i remember looking at going i wonder what kind of glue she used because if i could just break that rock off the top that actually wouldn't mind having that piece in my house but i didn't know how to ask the one who was very obsessed with the stones you know how do you break off the piece that you're most proud of which is not what i want in my house but it is what it is and they were just oddly looking they didn't the colors didn't match into the you know the glazing nothing it was just it was kind of in my opinion, best I could say, poorly done, but it is what it is. We ended up at one spot in a lady's house and they were chatting about whatever and it was a very nice neighborhood. And somebody, they were talking about, the, somebody had made the remark that they're living in a million dollar home. And she goes, well, the house is valued at a million dollars right now, but we didn't pay that. We came in here a long time ago before the market blew up and it doesn't feel like a million dollar home to us. And it was a nice house looking thing, but definitely not what you think of when you think of a million dollar house. But it is what it is so we kind of had a good chat there she had a bunch of ceramics said some really cool stuff um, i'm very much i enjoy ceramic 
I really enjoy the pottery type stuff a lot, uh, but it's just hard to display. It's kind of awkward. You got to dust the whole time and stuff, kind of just what it is. And she had kind of like a discount table out front and then a bunch of stuff inside and really nice lady. And we chatted a little bit, talked about different things and just everybody was standing around talking on a good time. And as I was leaving, she had three big you know, pieces out there, real tall, like 24 plus inches, maybe 30 inches tall. And the price tag, I'm like, is this the price of these? And she's like, yeah. We've had them in a couple different galleries. We've had them different shows. Everybody's bought them. She goes, we don't sell them. We're basically going to take a hammer to them and get rid of them. And I was like, huh, would you take this much for all three? And she stopped, called, yes. And I said, done. Because I like the one a lot, but the other two I didn't mind either. I enjoyed them. And I was like, okay. Well, I don't know exactly which one I'm going to want once it gets home. So I'll buy all three, I'll pick out the one I want, might just put the other two in storage, and then rotate them out so I change up my decor a little bit in the house, or they make great Christmas gifts. So they're, I mean, hundreds of dollars if you bought them at, you know, regular price, and I got a good deal, and basically ended up getting a couple of them for free. So, hey, why not? I can't beat that. So, yeah, I was super excited about that. Um, she had some other really cool stuff that was more than I really wanted to spend for what it was. There was these weird face mask things, like the, like the, I don't know, like the ones you see like for the, uh, represent like art, like for, and plays and stuff, whatever. And you see the mask. And they had just legs sticking off the bottom of it with like gesture type stockings on them. And so it was like a face and legs. It was really kind of cool. They were designed to be hung on a wall. And I kind of wanted one, but couldn't quite bring myself to get it. I'm like, I don't know where to put it. And it's just kind of strange. So end up with the three big bases instead. Um, end up with one gentleman's house that um, had some big, beautiful paintings, very nice stuff. And he was talking about like the prices his stuff we're bringing in galleries. And like he's, it's in the thousands of dollars he's getting for these paintings. And they've been through multiple galleries, been through multiple shows and nobody bought them. And he's tired of paying storage. So he's selling them for one to 500 bucks a piece. And there was one I really thought my wife was going to want. It had a real nice blue to it and stuff and whatnot. She didn't want it. And I'm like, okay. So we didn't get one of those, which I liked it quite a bit. It was pretty cool. But didn't end up with it, which is all good. No big deal. As we're heading back, um, end up running to a couple of different places that had some really weird stuff. Like they were taking like gourds, they were cleaning them out and then cutting some holes in them and then gluing rocks all over them and then trying to sell them for 1200 bucks. And I'm like, just pebbles like out of your driveway like these are i don't know it wasn't it wasn't nice it was not not something i was really impressed with so i was like okay we, that one was not enjoyable um overall everybody was kind everybody was polite everybody had like cookies and stuff out there we didn't eat none of that stuff but it is what it is one lady did some really she had a big giant rabbit sculpture in her yard that i would like to have had out of like expanded wire that then was back filled with sand and clay and stuff and had vines growing on it and it was really cool but Nothing else she really had there of the art we wanted to, we wanted to pay for. She was very proud of her stuff, and I give her all that. I'm glad she has that stuff, and it is what it is. So another lady we was there talking to her in her gallery, and um, she was talking about how the galleries charge so much for her paintings that it's ridiculous, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, well, we're here in your studio, so do you offer a discount like type stuff compared to the gallery? Because, well, I could probably do, like, I think she said, I think 10% off, whatever. I'm like okay like you just said the gallery is charging an enormous amount of money from what they charge what you pay, paid and then which most galleries are going at least 100 percent markup on them and she's offering me 10 percent off buy it right there it's like okay have a great day so not really the art i wanted anyway but there was a piece i didn't mind that was kind of nice that if it was in the half price range maybe i would have thought of it but probably still wouldn't even that price because it still would have been well over a thousand bucks and was not didn't move me anywhere near that so but he's heading back and um, decided it's probably time to go ahead and wrap it up and call it a day. Need to get back to the dogs. I've been gone for a few hours and just really make good use of the time. We had a great time. We had a lot of fun just out seeing stuff and just enjoying everything. Just kind of chatting and talking and looking at stuff and really had fun. So got back to the house, got the dogs out, got them all getting them played with and stuff, getting them cared for. I told my wife there was leftover pizza from last night. So I'd had a slice for breakfast. So there's three slices left, which is really not enough for both of us for dinner. But if you want, I'm like, you can either like one slice, I'll eat two, and you have something else. Or if you want to go completely different, because a lot of times there's stuff she likes to eat that I don't like. This would be a perfect opportunity for that. And she goes, that's fine, I'll take care of it. I'll, eat my, I'll find my own food. I'm like, perfectly fine. 
So then she told me a little bit later in the day that she was going to go to her father's house to watch the Super Bowl. I think more to watch commercials also and whatnot. But she was going to go there some boxes of old stuff that she wanted to go through. So she thought that'd be perfect time to go through some old boxes and also watch Super Bowl. So because we don't have we don't have cable or anything that gets anything that have the football game on it. So she had to go over there and watch it and went ahead went and got my run in, got back. She'd already left. Um, on my run, I bumped into my neighbor who talked to him about his Jeep. He's got, a, he's got a Corvette that he rebuilt the motor on and then some of the parts failed. So he's now rebuilding the motor again, which definitely sucks. But I asked him if they gave a discount for the broken parts that they had that clearly were not right because they broke way before. I mean, they barely had been broken in and the parts broke. He said they offered him a discount, which well, that's bullshit. <laughs> he got like 10% off or 20% off, so I got his next order, which I'm like, it kind of sucks, but it is life. So we had we chatted a little bit, then we headed on back, got myself a shower, ended up eating my pizza, watching a little bit of TV, and then headed back outside to enjoy a nice cigar in the stunning, absolutely gorgeous weather. I did not watch one second of football because don't care about it. So wife got home, um, got back, went ahead and finished up outside. Came and watched a little bit of TV in the bedroom, chatted a little bit, and she basically thanked me for a really nice day. She had a lot of fun. That's something we don't do too often, just run around and look at art. It's not something we do very often. So I know like images and stuff, but that's like a few hours of walking up and down a whole bunch of booths, different than going in and out of all the galleries and seeing how everybody is setting up their studios and stuff. It's kind of cool to see also. So yeah, that was pretty much my day. That's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.